Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on creating a simple PHP strategy game. Um, in the last part we started creating functions and the registration page. Now I made an error while I was creating the form in the last part of the tutorial. Right here for the input type I had said button. I made a mistake I meant to say submit. I don't know what was going through my head because if we just had an input type button nothing would have happened now that we have the submit we refresh the page when they hit register nothing happened because we didn't actually check to see if they submitted the form but if we refresh the page it'll say to display this page must send information that will repeat any action so this just here just means that okay you submitted a form but you know nothing might have shown up so now what we're going to do is we're going to create the PHP code that'll work with oh my God, that'll work with the form. And so we have our tags here. And let me just show you that right here, uh, stupid. Okay, right here is where the any kind of errors may pop up if there are any. So now what we're going to do is check to see if they submitted the form. What we're going to do is use the if statement, then we're going to use the isSet function. Now the isSet function will determine whether a variable is set or not. We'll see, curly brackets. And the variable that we're looking for is post register. As you can see here, the method is post and anything inside this form will be posted once the user submits it. Register is the name of the button here. As you can see everything has names and those are going to be post username, post whoopsie, password, thank you, post email and post register. So if they registered, if if post register is set, we're going to echo out yes. We just went to the register page you can see that yes is not there because they did not submit anything. So now, once they submit register, you can see yes. So what we're going to do now is check various things. Well, first we're going to protect things. So we're going to say username is equal to protect post username. This way, if they try to do any sort of SQL injection or any kind of hacking, they'll be stopped. Same thing for password and email. Protect post password. And let me just copy and paste post email. So now we have all the variables in this form that we needed. What we're going to do now is check certain things like is the username a decent and appropriate length? Is the password an appropriate length? Is, an, is the email an appropriate length? And is the email valid? So what we're going to do now is just a series of is, if, else if, else if, else if statements like that. So, I don't know if you remember from back in our second tutorial, we're going to do if str length, the string length of username is greater than 20. If the username is greater than 20, we don't want that. So we're going to echo username must be less than 20 characters. So now if the username is less than 20 characters we want to move on. So we go to our next else if which will be we'll check the email length str len email if that's greater than 100 we want to echo email must be 
less than 100 characters. Characters. Sorry. So now, let's just say that the username and the email are the username is less than 20 characters and the email is less than 100 than 20 characters. So now we go to an else. Now what we want to do is first we want to check to see if the username is taken. So what we're going to do is we'll just say register one is a MySQL query. Select and just to keep memory a little I don't know, less occupied, we'll just select ID. We could select everything, but if we're just checking to see something, we'll just use ID. So select ID from user where username equals username or die MySQL error. So now if the MySQL num rows MySQL number rows is again if it or it is it is the number of rows returned from this result if it equals uh, well I guess we could just say if it's greater than zero just to make just to make sure if it's greater than zero that means there is a user who has that username so we want to echo that username is already in use now we want to go to another actually let me just copy and paste this we'll call this register2 select ID from user where email is equal to the email that we have here so then we can do else if mysql num rows of register 2 is greater than 0 then we echo that email address is already in use. So now if we get past this first segment and the username is taken it'll say that if the email is taken it'll say that but if neither are taken then we want to register the user. So what we're going to do is let's see what do we want to do? we're going to we're going to insert values into these tables here so we will do let's just say ins1 will be insert1 mysql query insert into and we'll just start off at the top down to the bottom it doesn't really matter because they should all be the same into stats okay what do we have for our stats we have gold we don't need the ID because we don't know what ID number they have since we have the auto increment then the MySQL database will take care of the ID for us so we have gold attack defense and food so we have gold oopsie gold attack defense and food so now we have that and we have for values since they're just integers we don't really have to use the single quotes you can if you want to but we have let's just start off with 100 gold we'll say 10 attack 10 defense and let's just say I don't know um, we'll just say a hundred food as well then we add our or die mysql error you can pause it right here to just get a good look at this 
Okay, now we have our insert two, which we will go to the units. Again, ID is taking care of us, so we want worker, farmer, warrior, defender. So, my SQL query insert into sorry whatever that's going to do that insert into unit worker comma we'll see what did we have again farmer farmer was next farmer warrior defender and this will be values let's just say we'll have Five wo five workers, five farmers, and then zero of those two. So we add our or die error. Okay. So now insert three my SQL query insert into user. Now we have our username password, email, values, let's see, here we have our username, our pass, well, this right here I'll save for a second, and we have our email. Okay, so now what happens, I'll just throw that there for now. We have the password, but it's not encrypted. So if you use double quotes and two parentheses, or in two periods, sorry. Remember, this is concatenating a string. So we use MD5, we'll be using MD5 encryption. And we throw in password right there. So now, just like this is the username, this is gonna have the encrypted password. So we add or die mysql error. There we go. I think. No. Or die by scroll error. There we go. Sorry. I'm just going to pause this for a second and do the last insert. What I've done was I just added these two lines. You can pause for a second right here to copy them down. Okay. So, to start off, the users are also going to have zero swords and zero shields. Then I've echoed, you have registered. So now what we're gonna do is we're, we're, we're going to test this. So now let's go here and, well, I guess, yeah, okay. We'll test this for, for right now. So let's just say we have a huge long string I see. Username must be less than 20 characters. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll just have we'll just have copophobia for right now. The password can be anything, and the email we can again we can just do some extremely long thing. No, email must be less than 120 characters. So now one, two, three, four. And we just say one, two, three as my email. Since the user is already registered, since there's no users, users registered, we know that these will pass. And I know from experience that if there is a user registered, then there will display an error. For right now, I'll just register. Yeah, forget that. And it will say you have registered. If we go to game, you'll see that there are now records. Username, encrypted password, email, I have my stats, I have my units, and I have my weapons. That concludes this part of the tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be dealing with getting the website set up and starting the login. See you in the next video.